What's good everyone, Giant Opinions, some massive news, breaking MLB news, the hot stove, it's on fire, it's cooking, because Starling Marte is signing with the New York Mets, that's right, the team that already made two signings today, for a four year, $78 million deal, wow, this is a massive move, Starling Marte was one of the more interesting free agents in my opinion, and one of the better ones, for good reason, first off, the, the thing that jumps off the paper to me most, is 47 stolen bases that is unreal that is very valuable to any baseball club because he is still speedy at around age 32 and this season specifically he really took his hitting to the next level in miami he was taking walks something surprising his on-base percentage was around 100 points higher than his average that's something that he never really done in his career he was always kind of a swing type of guy. Wouldn't take walks, but this year he did it a little bit more. With Oakland, they kind of um, went back to normal just because they probably changed their hitting approach with him. But anyways, he still hit over 300 with the Marlins and the A's. He can hit for power. He's speedy. He's not terrible in the outfield. He's really good at making contact. His high uh, average exit velocity. He is, I'd, I'd call him an all-around outfielder at this point, honestly. Mm -hmm. He's very, very good. We've seen it the past two seasons. He can definitely still play baseball. In the Mets, they've needed a, they've had a hole in center field for the past few years, and it's been noticeable. Kevin Pillar did not work out last year. Juan Lagares was not the true answer. They needed a true center fielder. That's what Starling Marte is. So from the Mets' perspective, I love this signing. He is an all-around five-tool player. He's pretty damn good. Now, he's not going to hit, like, 40 home runs or anything crazy. Well, he could, but I doubt it. You know, best case scenario, 30 home runs. But anyways, the point of him is to get base hits, to steal bases, and not be a complete liability in the outfield. And he checks all those boxes. So, love the signing. A lot of teams wanted him, too. Starling Marte was one of the, one of the more interesting free agents for a reason, like I said. It's because he's a damn good baseball player. He's really good. And for the Mets, it's not... I mean, they're paying him less than $20 mil a year, around $19 million a year. That's not terrible. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a Jed Lowry type of signing. Starling Marte, he's been he's been in this league for a long time. He had success with the Pirates. It kind of stopped towards the end, and then he gets traded. Uh, to Or he goes to the Diamondbacks, uh, does pretty well, goes to the Marlins, does pretty well, and went to the A's, did very well for them. So I like the signing for the Mets. Has a, had a 4.7 war this past season. He's valuable. So the Mets got a good one, and they're improving their whole uh, offense, really. They haven't made any moves, really, starting rotation-wise, but, you know, they're adding some nice, nice pieces. So let me know what you guys think, especially if you're a fan of another team. I do like this move. I think it is a win for the Mets. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear everything and anything from you guys. So let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.